Hey everybody, my name is Danny Wrightsloff, also known as Moonhawk, and today I am here with... Rashida Das. I just wanted to get Koi on a vlog and catch up with him because I know I always have a lot of questions to ask. I'm sure a lot of the subscribers or people out there have a lot of questions as well. I always say this, but I'm super proud of you. But there's so many reasons why. Having a book released that ended up being a best-selling book. Your first, Thank you. first book. Yeah. And, um, you know, having all these turmoils in your life turn into like the biggest blessing I've ever seen for one of my friends. And Thank you, man. Growing your YouTube channel mm -hmm. as you kind of like processed everything that happened in mm -hmm. life. And I... Yeah. You're doing amazing too right now also. Yeah, with this channel is so now much. growing, it's evolving. It's amazing, man. I'm really glad that we've been able to hang out because mm -hmm. you're leaving soon. You're going to yeah. go travel soon with Crystal. What's going on with all that? What, what's your plan? Uh, so the plan right now is to go to Bhakti Fest in a few weeks. In Joshua Tree, California. Joshua Tree, I'm presenting a few workshops there. Nice. And then from there I will be hosting, I'll be working at the uh, Men's Convergence uh, Festival in October. And then after that, um, we'll be going to Montana to like hang out with my mom and catch up with my okay, family. Okay, cool. But once we do that, then our plan is to go overseas to Australia for a while, then over to India. Um, and then to Thailand. Wow, crazy. Yeah. So, so you're gonna kind of like do a couple lectures, go see your family. Yeah. And, and then, then you're just going. Then I'm gone. It. Then we're gone. <clears throat> wow. We, we're trying to decide right now. We're probably going to get a place in Thailand for uh, maybe six months to a year or so. Cool. Spend some time overseas. Uh, so that way we're close to India, close to all these okay. different islands. We can hop over to. Okay. So you'll be able to travel there. from there and kind of yeah. have a home base in Thailand. Yeah. That's like an idea. Yeah, plan. exactly. Okay. And what's perfect about it is that since you know I study Vedanta with my Swami, so. I'm really excited to um, essentially be able to go to India, and since I'm part of the uh, temple, I can go to different like centers in India, different right. Ramakrishna kind missions of check and in stuff. With G1, yeah, G1. spend time there, spend a few days there, oh, learn with the awesome. swamis. So I'm excited. That's, that's why I want to be, be kind of so close sweet. to it. Where have you traveled to before? Like I've what? never been overseas. I've never left the country. So this is my first time. I know travel teaches you so much, and that's what you know. Crystal continuously reiterates to me mm -hmm. that it, you learn, you evolve so much as a person just from traveling and like right. seeing different areas of the world and realizing uh, certain things about how you were raised that isn't the same somewhere else. Right. So I'm excited for that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, even Sam and I were talking about it. We're yeah. like, man, it's so exciting. He's going on this great adventure. It's like in oh, Lord of the Rings excited. when there's like that moment where he's like, if I take one more step, this yeah. is the furthest I've yeah, ever gone Samwise. from the Shire. And Samwise, like, yeah, Samwise, like, this is the furthest I've gone That's from the That's going to be Shire. you. You're going to be exactly. with Crystal, and you're going to be like, Crystal, one more step. If I get, this is the furthest I've ever gone from the Shire. get on this Shire. plane, it's the farthest I've ever gone. That's how it's going to be. I've Are been, you nervous? No, not at all. I'm super excited. excited. I'm so excited, yeah. man. I'm ready to get on the road. I mean, I trust the universe's process, so I don't really get anxious about things as much anymore as I right. did before. That's good. Really, really at all. I mean, That's good so and the good. bad. I let myself learn from it. Just so. ride it. Yeah, yeah. And I know I need to ride the travel wave and especially get out there and see things. And I can't wait. See what wait. I can do overseas. Do you think that it will affect your content? Do you think that oh, like you'll go for? Do you think you'll do like vlog style posts? Well, my, so my, my plan is to not so much just vlogging, but my plan is to integrate educational content with the areas I'm in. Cool. So filming the same stuff at these different locations and then also filming videos on what I'm learning in okay. these locations, okay. what things I'm realizing, kind of how they're helping me evolve. Mm. So I plan to kind of document that. Nice. I do have a little side vlog baby channel. Photo <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little baby photobomb! Little baby! Everybody okay, say continue. hi to Eva. <laughs> hi Eva. Well hi. You're the most beautiful He's little so bean in the world. Hi. But yeah, um, I totally lost my train of thought. So, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, so, so I guess since Eva's in the in the shot right now, I know this is kind of a big question, and maybe like your partner Crystal should be here, but I'm still gonna ask you anyways. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about having kids? Do you think that oh you'll want to have kids in like the not too far away future, or? Heck yeah, man! I want kids yeah. soon. Nice. I love, I love kids. Woo! My sister has a baby Das. Yeah, little baby Das. <laughs> Um, and we already have names, we already have names and stuff for what we want our kids to be named, so wow, it's definitely nice. a plan. We just want to travel for a bit first, you yeah, know, and yeah. then settle down. Yeah. Uh, we'll still travel when we have a kid, definitely, but we want to have like a space to like get some stuff done, and then we can like sit down, anchor in, yeah. plan things out. But I definitely 100% want kids. That's awesome. I can't uh, wait to meet your babies. Yeah, definitely. Baby food. And then Eva, Ow. we'll get... <laughs> Bye Eva. Bye Sam. Bye bye. Um, Do you want kids? Yes, yeah. 100%. I would have said yes to that even like a few years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want kids. Yeah, it's something about children. I've been an uncle since I was really young. Mm -hmm. My sister has four kids. Yeah, wow. So I've been able to like be around 
Yeah, the my whole sister's younger than me, and she baby has... being born, like caring for them as a, like an older brother, and yeah. you know, being a positive yeah. influence over time, and then growing up to being like an oh, uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, because yeah, yeah. I felt like they were my like sister yeah. and brothers, as opposed to like nieces and yeah, nephews, yeah, exactly. because my sister had them when we lived together when mm -hmm. I was really young. Oh, I'm super excited to have a kid. Yeah, it's like a rite of passage in life. You know what I mean? It's beautiful. So. And when you finally meet somebody, or if, when you meet somebody that you feel like you can actually comfortably talk about that with yeah. you're just like whoa oh man super awesome yeah yeah i always i always feel, uh, we talked about this at the park but it's like weird like growing, like i don't know it's so i feel like it happens to a lot of people but you kind of just have like a day where you wake up and you're just like i want kids you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like before that you're like no i never and then you have that kind of one day you're like yeah that'd be awesome yeah a few moments later skills oh god i wanted to ask you a little bit about youtube because you were one of my biggest inspirations on youtube yes youtube's a really Great. I mean, it's a love-hate relationship in some ways, mm -hmm. uh, but I, I love the fact that YouTube exists just because you can provide s such a diverse amount of people with this information, you know, mm -hmm. to help them. Uh, that's why I love it. How long have you been YouTubing now? Three and a half years. Three and a half. Yeah. Well, half a million subs in three and a half years. Yeah. That's amazing. It's pretty good so far. It's crazy. That's like over 150,000 average per year. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Usually, like, I mean, I've, ne I never, I've never since I started had less than like six, 7,000 per month, like at the low end. Wow. So what would you say um, is your biggest gain from YouTube for yourself? Like um, benefit? How has it benefited you? I mean, it benefits me because it gives me a place where I can teach, and that teaching in return reflects upon my ability to learn. So mm -hmm. I learn a lot because I'm teaching a lot. You know, that's how teachers grow too. Is yeah. They are constantly providing, so they're constantly taking in. You you're know? so you're so good at it that you like. I feel like you already know that you're talking to your audience when you look at when you're looking at the lens, mm -hmm. and I feel like that's it takes a long time to get to that point. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking at them 100%. And it's a beautiful thing because it's really hard to do even for yeah. myself. When yeah. I hit record, it's just like okay, I'm talking to them. You know, mm -hmm. whoever is watching this, I don't ever think about okay, I'm talking to a camera. Right. I feel like to me it was like riding a bike. Like the first couple of videos, you feel like that, and then for me, it just kind of snapped and it was completely comfortable after that it has been ever right. since all the advice you've given me which is, for the most part is just be consistent consistency like, and, and consistency and creativity as you yeah can, and um and not not come. getting hung up on like how things do that's the biggest right thing. People yeah focus way i too like much text coy and i'm like oh i'm never posting on monday again and he's like it's not monday just yeah. keep posting yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah you, can't, you can't if you, if you look too much into that you get like you end up like hating the platform because you're always worried like why isn't this doing this good? Mm -hmm. you, you can't ever control it. Like yeah, I'll post a video that I really put two minutes into, just it kind of flew out of me, and like for some reason that'll get like fifty thousand views, and then I'll like work really hard on a video for like hours, and then that one gets like twelve thousand. You just gotta continue <laughs> like just creating me. and creating and creating, and let let videos do what they want, right? Uh, and how they need to do, they'll do. Like sometimes a video won't even take off for like weeks. Like I made a video and it got like so one of my lowest views ever in like four, 24 hours, and mm -hmm. like. It just picked up after that because right. it was something that people wanted to see, and now it's got like 50,000 views. Yeah, it's interesting how sometimes they'll pick up later. Yeah, yeah. So they might go up and dip and go back up. I stop focusing on a video once my next video comes out. Like I never think about That's that. That's another video thing again. he said. It's just like when you post a video, you know, maybe go and respond to all the comments and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Keep the engagement there, but go right to working on that next video because yeah. the next chapter or the next episode. As, is, as soon as like the first few hours are done and I promoted it, I, I do not ever go back to that video really, unless I'm wow. like. Unless I'm like sourcing it for another video I'm making on the topic or something. Right. That's pretty much it. I never really think about it again. I don't know if it's the YouTube Red or the whole premium thing, but mm -hmm. like it's just getting so much attention right now. And oh, yeah. I've been trying to let everybody know that if you're at all interested in making a vlog or a channel or anything like that, just do it. Yeah, I mean, I've had a few people send me links to their first vlogs, and I love it. It's so sweet. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, keep going. Yeah, yeah. And the thing, too, is people don't realize like it's a really easy source of like, extra income too if you can, mm -hmm. you're consistent and even if stuff. it's like a little bit you yeah know? Like, like views don't equate to how much money you make it's really just like how long the content is people that watch it like continuously like i have people i have people that uh my friends that like make educational videos too who have like a quarter if not half of the followers i have mm -hmm. but they're making maybe double the money i'm making because mm. they're like just posting every single day and wow. like their, their videos are getting way less views but since it's so many it kind of adds up wow so like that's why i tell you to post every day like yeah. post a lot like i if i had the ability to like physically i would post every day me too but i have so much stuff i'm like 100 so if i could post every day for you guys 
Yeah, oh, yeah. That would be so great. I would yeah. love to. But the more the merrier. You know, people just like seeing new content. I mean, yeah. you're, you're never like, oh, I only want to see this show once once a week. Mm -hmm. If you if you like something, you want to see it as often as you can. You know, right. that's why people binge watch. What would you? What kind of advice would you have for like new vloggers? When somebody who aspires to be a vlogger, maybe who's a little shy to do their first one or doesn't know how to do it. Uh, I mean, you're investing in yourself and your future, so you have to have that kind of just like belief in yourself. That's really what all you can yeah, really do. In it's yourself. like stop beating around the bush, go get the stuff you need, and, and start. Like that goes with any anything that you want to mm -hmm. do in life. Like, it it took, takes time. Yeah. So I feel like that's been my little bit of advice: is just like make an intro video, show who you are a little bit, mm -hmm. express some of your passions or yeah, yeah. why you're here, and then that's enough. Yeah, and you're good to go. But do you plan on? Still running your shop online while you're traveling? Right. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. I'm gonna have my shop going. My mom's gonna be helping me with it. I'll Woo. be like paying her uh, while I'm overseas. Nice, keeping it in the fam. So that's cool. You guys can check out vashudadas.com. Go in there, like you that. never know what you find. And... Oh, yeah, Sam had a quick, quick question. Okay, so was there ever a moment when you were like through your childhood mm -hmm. where you thought, Okay, I think this is like the beginning of becoming an adult. You know what I mean? Where yeah, you like yeah. you just transition from like oh, yeah. being a kid to being like worry free, you know what I mean? To like all of a sudden uh -huh. you know, like it was there like one day switchers like little things over time. Yeah, like, yeah, hundred percent. Well my one of my best friends got killed when I was sixteen. He got murdered, so that's the insulin. That's it right there. It. It's like Boom. it's like some things along the way, but that you had an adult real fast. Yeah, yeah so just like so complete insane. shattering of the illusion wow. of everything always being perfect. Mm -hmm. So that messed me up for a while, cause like I was that age, I had I I've never had never I, like, I have all four of my grandparents still, I've uh, I've never been to a funeral I've always been to his funeral, but before that I'd never mm -hmm. been to a funeral or anything, right. so I'd never even experienced death. Wow. So that was like my first like complete just like it destroyed me for like a year plus to like deal with that. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you're a kid, so like I did not know how to deal with the healthy, so drugs were like the right. only like yeah. escape, but definitely took me right out of childhood when that happened. Right. So that was that was definitely an experience. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's but question, it turned. Sure. But on a good note, it ended up once I started to de learn about it. I had like a really kind of like thankfulness for like life. You know what I mean? Like living vicariously for those who don't get to continue experiencing. Yeah, so. hundred percent. Yeah. I feel like that's the first thing that comes to my mind now when a friend or a loved one passed away. I'm just like, all right, I'm here for you now. I'm living for you right yeah, now. And I know you'd like me to be happy and live a beautiful life, so I'm just going to do that for both yeah. of us. Well, there's like, I forget what it is. I don't know if it's a, like a, a Jamaican saying or a proverb, but it's basically, uh, I think I talked about a jam, but basically you, you mourn those who you lose for the first week and then you celebrate them for the rest of your life. Mm, so it's right. kind of how you see it. You, take, you give that time to grieve, because right. grieve you're supposed to grieve. Yeah. Grieving is yeah, don't really bottle important. That up. Don't bottle that up. Yeah. If you want to know how to grieve, look up Wayne Dyer, the five stages of grieving. Wayne Dyer explains it really well. Mm. But you pretty much grieve for that week. You process all of that just like shit. <laughs> and then you just are you are thankful for your life. Yeah, you celebrate 100%. Yeah. So it's a good way to deal with it. Yeah. Definitely. Right. It's so beautiful. Yeah, that was a good question. Yeah, that yeah, was a great sure. question. But who is the person that justified you oh, or yeah. your spiritual thoughts that, mm. for, at first? The first person that changed my life was Carl Sagan. So it wasn't someone in your life, it was like it was, someone else yeah, that it like, was, you know, was, you'd never met. Yeah, so I before that I just never, so I, I read a book in high school called Cosmos by Carl Sagan. Cosmos. And it pretty much just talks about like the incomprehensible vastness of like existence. Right, it just how, blows like, your mind. And like he, he is such a poet with words, you know, like, he's totally. so right. poetic. Totally, totally. And it just completely like... Super well received and... The first time I got truly like just brought out of my like... Was perspective that? of self was that and like ever since then like wow. I've just like it changed everything and that's when I started getting really curious did you watch the series and stuff yeah, uh, the, yeah. well Neil deGrasse Tyson has one but the yeah. original Cosmos series from like the 80s amazing I, yeah. I watch it like once a year usually mm -hmm. it's really really good oh, when man. I get my house I'm probably gonna buy like a first edition of that Cosmos book and I'll frame it because like yeah. I'm trying to try to find a signed one like wow, I know so that's how powerful it was. dude that's if there was like one person I wish I could meet that was Dead, it would be Carl Sagan, 100%. Yeah. Like, if I got one wish, I'd be wow. him. She was just aware of, like, look, there is science, and then there is that kind of source beyond understanding, and those things are always coalescing. Like, he would talk about that all the time, you know? Mm -hmm. Not to get too lost in, like, kind of the new age nonsense that just doesn't have any founding, uh, but to understand and find a balance between, like, your spiritual life and, like, the actual rational world. I love books. There's nothing cooler to me than, like, real, like, how crazy is it that you can hold a little pound of 
of like tree <laughs> and it can literally change the foundation of your entire existence yeah. with what these like little squiggles are written on it like yeah coolest thing ever what's We're going not... on oh, oh gosh what is gosh. that <laughs> okay um, so what are we working with that's here? a curry a... coconut uh quinoa dish um that i found online anyone wants to hit me up for that recipe i'll send you a link <laughs> uh cauliflower broccoli peppers carrots um with some like dank curry curry powder that we have it's beautiful man. yeah it's good it's good all right stuff. we can do a little prayer first for you yeah let's pray it up all righty so this is basically a, a classical Hindu prayer that is like thanking your food, but also thanking the universe mm -hmm. and like the experience of being and realizing that this food is the energy and you're one with it. Vishnu, Guru, Devo, but I forget the rest. Anyways, <laughs> what is it? I forgot, sorry, let me let's cut. It's yeah, okay, we Wait, can cut on. it. Oh, hey, Guru Brahma, Guru Vishnu, Guru Devo, Maheshwara, Guru Sakshat, Brahma Pranam, Tasmai Sri, Guru Dev Namaha. That's the prayer. Beautiful. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I'm just okay, so Sam, what did you tell Koina earlier about your diet? So, mm. I have a big worldwide announcement. Mm -hmm. um, there's been a lot of pull for me to start eating meat and like returning to more of a paleo kind of style diet. Oh, I'm never talking to Sam again. <laughs> yeah. If you're like, I'm a vegan and that's an us, and everything outside of that is like the devil mm -hmm. or whatever, then you're kind of, you're boxing yourself in and you're not like, you know, maybe uh, listening with your heart. You're not really seeing everybody's journey and everybody's process. Koi's eating way faster than me today, guys. Yeah, Koi wins. wins, holy. Yeah, there you have it. I'm glad that I got to sit down with my good buds and ask Koi Vishuddha a few questions about where he's at and why it makes him feel the way he does and where he thinks he's going or whatever's going on in our lives. It's nice to kind of catch up and, and have a mini mukbang. Yeah, and this this food was so amazing. <laughs> yeah, Thank really you good. so much, Sam. Of course, guys. All right, so if you enjoy what you see, please feel free to like or comment this video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and all the links to all my social media platforms and Sam's and Koi Vashuda's platforms will be in the description below. So until next time. I'm Ram. Peace. Taco or burrito? Oh my gosh, burrito. Burrito? Hands yeah, down. Same. I can't even deny that. Tea or coffee? Coffee. 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 I love coffee. Dude, I've only drank coffee once in my life on accident. Yeah, really? Uh, sunrise or sunset? Oh gosh, dude, that's such a that's a really hard one. That's tough. Uh sunrise. 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 The most auspicious time of day is the mm. hour before sunrise. Right. Because the, the earth is waking back up, mm. the vibrations are picking back up. Build hats or beanies? Beanies. Okay. Beanies, okay. definitely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So. Shoes or flip flops? Yeah, I guess I guess sandals are better. So you'd go for those over shoes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think shoes are like foot prisons. Skateboard or bike? Skateboard. I don't like bikes. Okay. Motorcycle or car? Motorcycle. <laughs> you live on the edge, Koi. Milkshake or smoothie? Right? Because one has like ice cream in it and stuff. Yeah, the other is like all fruit. Smoothie. Top three favorite fruits? Mangoes, grapes, and yeah. probably like apples. I love apples. apples. Like Gaia dude, apples are my I, favorite. Something about biting into an apple is so satisfying. Well, I, I just love juicing apples. Like I always just do, I cold press apples and celery, mm. and it's like the best mix. Mm. Like, or like nice. apples and cucumber. It's really you can good. make st like little baked goods, vegan yeah, muffins yeah. and stuff, with the pulp afterwards. Oh wow, that's true. Yeah, you should ask Crystal. I've I bet she'll know. Yeah, she would know. She, she would know. Crystal, hi Crystal. We miss you.